Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Civil PE Water Resources exam. A wastewater treatment plant has an average flow rate of 3 million gallons per day, or MGD. Determine the length of the filter bed of the gravity filter, considering the filter is square. So on the PE Water Resources exam, we are given one of the resources is the 10 state standards as a resource and in the 10 state standards there's a section on high effluent filtration high effluent filtration and there's a further subsection on filter rates and in this subsection there's another section that talks about the allowable rate. And so the allowable rate for a gravity filter as we're given in this problem is listed as five gallons per minute per square foot. And so that's going to be important information to solve this problem. So in step one we're going to convert the flow rate of three million gallons per day given in the problem statement, two gallons per minute. So we'll take three million gallons per day times our conversion factor one day over 24 hours times another conversion factor of one hour over 60 minutes. And performing the math, we determine the flow rate to be 2,083 gallons per minute. Then in step two, we're going to calculate the required surface area using the maximum allowable flow rate we found on the 10 state standards. So the area is equal to the gallons per minute flow rate that we calculated in step one of 2,083 gallons per minute over the allowable flow rate from the 10 state standards we found of five gallons per minute per square foot. And solving for the area, we determined that the required surface area is 416.6 square feet. And then in step three, we calculate the side length. And so in the problem statement, we are told that the filter is square. So that means the area of a square is just, excuse me, the side of the square is just the square root of the area. So the area we found in step two is 416.6 square feet. Take the square root of that and we determine the side length to be 20.411 feet. And if we look at the answer choices, that is closest to answer choice D and we've successfully solved this problem. So I hope that helps you. And if you're looking for more practice as you prepare for your civil PE exams, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out the ultimate civil PE review course. And we'll see you there.